but let us look at what do we have here uh, we're still under calculus application of calculus obviously so we're given a box that is open on top and it said that the surface area of the box is 200 centimeters squared we are required to prove that y is equal to 20 over x minus 3x over 5 uh, y representing what represents the height of the, the height of the box obviously now let us take a look at the formula for calculating the surface area of the box surface area is equals to 2 length multiplied by what multiplied by breadth plus 2 length multiplied by height plus 2 uh, breadth multiplied by height breadth multiplied by height but now let us take a look at the information that is given to us again it is said that the box is open on top which will be length multiplied by what length multiplied by breadth remember we have two sides of what of length times breadth we have two sides of uh, length times height we also have two sides of uh, breadth multiplied by height so it is said that the box is open on top so that simply means we will only have a length multiplied by breadth, only one side of length multiplied by breadth, which would be the base of the box because on top the box is, is open. So I'm going to remove these two here. Uh, it is given to us that the surface area is 200 centimeters squared. Surface area is 200 centimeters squared. Uh, what is the length of the box? It is 3x multiplied by what? By the breadth of the box, which is what? Which is 2x plus 2 into what the length of the box again which will be 3x multiplied by by height what is our height is y plus 2 multiplied by what uh, breadth which is 2x multiplied by our height which is y again so i'm going to simplify this remember the aim here is to make y subject of the subject of the formula so we're going to have 3x times 2x which will be 6x squared we still have 200 on the side which represents the surface area of the box simplifying here we're going to have uh, 3x multiplied by y which will be 3y 3xy multiply that by 2 it will be 6xy plus 2x multiplied by y it will be 2xy multiply that by by 2 it will be plus 4xy since when we want to make y subject to the formula we're going to transpose this 6x squared to the left hand side so we have 200 minus what minus 6x squared you simplify here look at this these are the the like terms 6xy plus 4xy it will be 10xy remember the aim is to make y is to make y subject of the subject of the formula so we divide both sides by 10x divide here by 10x divide here by 10x so 10x will cancel 10x on the right hand side and you will be left with what you will be left with y 200 divided by 10x it will be 20 over x minus 6x squared divided by 10x so x will cancel there 6 divided by 10 you will be having what you'll be having 3x all over 5 there we have it on 12 we have proven that y is equals to 20 over x minus 3x over over 5 let us take a look at our second question a second question says to us express the volume of the box in terms of what in terms of x now let us recall the formula for the for the the formula for calculating the volume of the of the rectangular prism y is equals to length multiplied by breadth multiplied by what multiplied by your height so the length in this case we have what length we have 3x times the breadth of the box which is 2x times the height of the box it is y but we have found out that y is what y is 20 over x minus 3x all over all over 5 so this will be our height 20 over x minus 3x all over all over 5 now simplifying here you are going to have 6x squared into what into 20 over x minus what minus 3x all over 5 so you distribute 6x squared inside this bracket it will be 6 multiplied by 20 which will give us a uh, 
120x squared all over x minus 6x squared multiplied by 3x which will give us 18x what x cubed all over all over 5 and then you simplify here this will cancel that so you have 120x minus what minus 18x cubed all over all over 5 so this is the volume of the box in terms of what in terms of of x